Daily Mass Readings and Reflection June 11, 2023 Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ Corpus Christi First Reading Deuteronomy Chapter 8 Verses 2-3 14 to 16. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert, so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger, and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. Responsorial Psalm Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Second Reading 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 16 to 17 Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, or one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. Gospel Jesus, the living bread John chapter 6 Verses 51 to 58 Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and L in him. Just as the living Father sent me and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Reflection. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. For the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ Corpus Christi, we are nourished both by the Lord's body in Holy Communion and by God's Word through the readings in the Liturgy of the Word. In the first reading, we are reminded that God humbled the Israelites by letting them go hungry. He then fed them with manna, with which none of them was familiar, in order to make them understand that it is not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. In the second reading, Paul reminds the community in Corinth with such emotional tone, 
The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? This is to ensure that they understand the consequence and the implication of their becoming members of the faith community. They partake of the one bread that is Jesus Christ, no matter how diverse they may be. The responsorial psalm connects the first reading and the second reading with the gospel. The psalmist says, Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. He brings peace to your borders, and he satisfies you with finest of wheat. There are four important words that capture the essence of our celebration today. Shalom or peace, Yabeshek or to be satisfied, Helab or choicest or finest, and Hidim or wheat. Indeed, if we delve into the meaning of these words, we may say, paraphrasing the readings, Whoever cats of this bread will have the finest wheat. Then will be satisfied, will experience peace, and will live forever. How deep is our faith in believing that Jesus is, the bread of life that we break, the cup of blessing that we bless. How grateful are we to belong to the Christian community where we are nourished spiritually and sustained communally by our experience of Jesus and of one another. As brothers and sisters, journeying together towards eternal life, 